Hello, dear friends. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching this, anywhere in the world. You're welcome to the Daily Victory broadcast with Dr. Gary Whetstone. My name is Pastor Freke Umo. I lead worship here at Victory Christian Fellowship in Newcastle, Delaware. And what a blessing for me to join you today. Happy New Year. Uh, welcome to 2024 here at our church. Uh, our pastor has declared over us that this is the year for running with the vision. And we are so excited. We closed out the year 2023 uh, with amazing testimonies, with amazing miracles. God has done um, wonderful things and he has shown himself faithful to us as a church throughout the concluding year. And we have come into this new year with excitement, with joy, and with great expectations of the great things that he has promised us. Promised us. We are so assured of his goodness in our lives. And we know that um, we're about to step into something really, really amazing. I uh, want you to do something real quick. Uh, share this broadcast, share the links, put it on all your social media and, um, and send it as text messages. Let everyone know that something is happening right now on the Daily Victory uh, devotional. Uh, many thanks, Pastor Gary, for this great opportunity for me to uh, share on your behalf to God's people. I trust that God will do great things uh, in your life as you listen and as you watch this morning in Jesus' name. Uh, let us pray. Father, we just thank you. We bless your name because you're the God of all wisdom. Oh, uh, yes, the Bible says, unto you who answers prayer shall all flesh come. Lord, we come to you, O oh God, in recognition of your power, your grace, your magnanimity. You're the only omniscient one. You're the only omnipresent one. You're the only omnipotent one. And Lord of oh God, we are just grateful, Lord of oh God, that all of these advantages we have in our lives because of you and because of the Christ that Jesus has paid on the cross for us. Lord of oh God, as we open up the word and as we share thoughts this morning, we just declare that your presence is with us and with my brother, my sister, and anyone else who's at the other side of the screen watching and partaking of this. Thank you, Lord God, for the blessing of your word today. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. And like I shared and I just said uh, in the beginning that uh, this year has been declared for us as the year for running with the vision. And I'm so excited because focus, vision, and things like that are one of the things that I am really, really passionate about. And um, also coinciding with this time is, is a period of consecration and fasting and prayer, especially in this uh, first month of the year. Whenever you watch this, uh, whenever in, in time, whether you watch this 20 years, when we were doing this, it was our time of prayer and fasting as we consecrate ourselves in the beginning of 2024. And I just want to read from the Word of God um, uh, today. Uh, running with the vision is something that you, I'm sure you've read that scripture many times. And uh, right here on the broadcast, you've been hearing from Pastor Lori, you've been hearing from Pastor Gary himself, and you see many more of our pastors who would come and will speak about this uh, very, very um, uh, impactful topic. Uh, we will read from our key scripture for the year, which is in Habakkuk uh, chapter 2. I would begin to read from the first uh, verse of chapter 2 uh, onto the key verse that, that we have. Uh, and it says here in uh, the King James Version says, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I will answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it will speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Hallelujah. What a blessing. And from this scripture we can see here, um, when we say running with a vision, one of the things that, that we need to understand as, um, as children of God is that when God speaks to us, uh, the, Bible, the Bible tells us that God is spirit. Our God is a spirit. Our God is a speaking spirit. The Bible says once I have spoken and twice, um, once have thou spoken twice, have I heard that all power belongs to God. And whenever we hear that God is speaking, um, one of the things that I've, I've thought of in my mind is when God speaks, what language does he speak? And, and I just want to share this with you this morning. And I, I, I know it's not a mystery, but when God speaks, 
he doesn't necessarily, you may hear it in the language that you understand, but it doesn't necessarily mean that God speaks in English. That when God speaks to us, God speaks in to create a picture in our hearts and in our minds. So when we read from um when we read from uh, Habakkuk chapter two, and he and the word of God tells us that we, I will watch to see what he will say. He will watch to see what he will say um, to to the normal uh, person who understands language. I thought you would hear what he says, but scripture says you will see what he says. That means when God speaks to us, he's speaking to be able to create a picture. He's creating, he's speaking to be able to create create a reality. For you to see. So when God speaks to you, you may hear it. You, you, what you hear it is the way that you're able to understand it. So um, I, I would begin by saying this, that I pray and I trust that this year that the eyes of your understanding will be enlightened to hear God in reality, to hear God in the way and in the exact way that he wants to communicate with you. Because when God speaks to you, he's, he's speaking, he's, he's, he wants, there's something that God wants you to see. There's a picture that God is trying to paint for you to understand. And the Bible tells us that the Bible says that God says, write the vision. And when you have seen it, you need to write it down and make it plain. God is trying to reach you in a way that you can understand. Um, in saying that, I also want to establish this with you this morning, that, the, the, that as much as you know, the things of God may seem mysterious, but the Bible tells us that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, not as it comes to the heart of man, what God has prepared for those who love him, but by the spirit of God, he has revealed these things to us. The Bible says it is the glory of, of God to conceal a matter, but the honor of kings to, to, to unveil these matters. God is not trying to hide stuff from us as his children. He's trying to reveal. So when he says to us to make it plain, it means that he wants to be able to communicate with you. God doesn't want to leave you without ideas. God is not leaving you without clues. God is more excited to get to you because there are lots of people who stay and then they're like, how do I hear from God? How do I know when God is speaking to me? I just want to establish to you, my friend, my brother, my sister, on the other side of the screen, that God is very, very excited and eager to communicate with you. He wants to communicate with you in a way that you will understand it. So that's why you ought to see what he says. God speaks to you in a way that you're able to see what he says to you. So I pray for you this morning and I pray for you this year that this is going to be your year of clarity. I pray that this is going to be your year where it will be unmistakable what God is saying to you. I feel very strongly right now that there are people on the other side who have lived their their Christian life up to this point, you know, with a certain um, mystery about, you know, the voice of God or knowing when God speaks to them. And I just want to pray right now that this, in this season, that the eyes of your understanding will be enlightened. Oh, the Bible says in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord seated upon the throne. I declare that this will be that year where your the veil will be taken off of you and you will see very, very clearly what God is saying to you. It says, make it plain and write it upon the tables. And I declare over you as well that as, as you see what God says to you, another thing that God is going to give to you is going to give to you the ability to articulate that which he has shown you, that you will not be confused. It will be so clear to you that you're able to articulate it to the people who are around you. Because a dream and a vision that you carry only by yourself is, is, is not, it's, it's, it can only take you so far. But once you have a vision that you're able to communicate, then you have people who will be able to run with you. The whole idea is that God is trying to get to you because he's trying to get to many other people. There is, there is so much impact that you have on the earth that every one of us on the earth, we are connected to each other. And when God speaks to you, the influence that you have are, 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 are with the people who are around you, God is able to use you to touch the people who is around you, who are around you. 
So, so I declare over you that this year and in this season, you will receive clarity. And as you receive clarity, he also gives you the ability to articulate and to communicate the vision that he has put in your heart in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He says that you will write the vision, you will make it plain, and, and, and everyone who sees it will run with it that they will, he will run that readeth it, that everyone who sees it is able to understand that which God has put in your heart. This is your season of vision. This is your season of clarity. This is your vision. This is your season where you're able to articulate that which God has put in your spirit. And this is the season where the people who are around you are able to understand what God has put inside of you so that they will run with it in Jesus' mighty name. Um, what a blessing to be able to share with you this morning. I trust that you have received something that has helped you in one way or the other. And I know that as we continue in this season of praying and waiting on the Lord, the Bible says that they that wait upon the Lord, he will renew their strength. They will walk and not grow weary. They will run and not faint. They will, will, will mount up with wings as eagles. I trust that as you stay in the presence of the Lord in this beginning time of the year 2024, you will receive downloads that would make your walk with God so easy and so beautiful in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you so much for listening this morning. I trust that you have been blessed. For those of you who have been partnering with the Daily Victory broadcast, God bless you. We're so excited that you're working with us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ all over the world. For those of you who want to join, all of us who are also being a part of Daily Victory financially, we want you to donate by going to the website um, victoryexperience.com. You can text DONATE, that's D-O-N-A-T-E, to 302 324 Five four zero zero. That's text donate to 302-324-5400. We would love to hear from you. We want to know what God is speaking to your heart in 2024. We want to know the challenges that you have to deal with this year, uh, that, that your, the mountains that are before you and the challenges that you, that you have to face this year so that we can hold hands with you over the phone and pray and trust God for an exciting and a beautiful and a miracle-filled 2024. And how you're going to do that is just call this number. Call the number 302-561-6767. Here in the U.S., just pick up the phone right now and call 302-561-6767. And if you're in Canada, I want you to call 709-500-6767. That's 709-500-6767. Uh, We can't wait to hear from you. We want to be able to pray with you, receive your testimonies, receive your gifts, and so that we can go out and win this world for the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for listening to the broadcast today. God bless you and see you soon. Love you. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm Pastor Laurie Idahosa. It's great to see you today. And I'm excited to tell you about what's happening on January 20th. I want you to get out your calendar, get out your phone, wherever you save important dates. And I want you to put down January 20th. On January 20th, I'm going to be leading the New Beginnings Breakfast this year. And I need you to come support me, okay? My dad has done this for the last 40 years. It has always been Pastor Gary Wetstone's New Beginnings Breakfast. And he's entrusting me to lead the New Beginnings Breakfast. I'm kind of excited about it because for me, that's a big sign of trust coming from our founding pastor. And not just that, but God has put a word in my spirit that I believe is going to transform your life. This is our year that we're running with the vision. And we're going to be talking very clearly and specifically about how to run with the vision in different areas of your life. We're going to be taking some very detailed time and and working our understanding of vision, working our understanding of dreams and of goals and of direction and of focus. And I'm excited about sharing this season with you because I believe that January 20th is going to change your life. I believe that January 20th is going to set you on a trajectory where you are not going to fail in the things that God has called you to do. So listen up. We're going to be there January 20th, 8 o'clock starts our breakfast, and then 9 o'clock starts the meeting proper. Now, we're probably going to start praise and worship sometime around 845. So come on out at 8 o'clock, fellowship with us, have some free food. But then by 9 o'clock, we're going to get deep into the Word of God, and it is going to be life transforming. So be with us. Be with me on January 20th. And I encourage you that this year's New Beginnings Breakfast is for you. It's for your children. It's for your teenagers. 
it's for your family. It's going to be relatable. It's going to be understandable. And it's going to be something where you can easily implement what we're teaching into your daily life. So we'll see you on January 20th. Mark that in your calendar, eight o'clock, and I will see you there. God bless you. I love you.